जेई मेन टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग द साइड ऑफ अ स्क्वायर ऑफ साइड ए विथ अ यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड वी इन द एक्स वाई प्लेन एज शोन इन द फिगर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स फॉर द एंगुलर मोमेंटम एल अबाउट द ओरिजिन लेट्स डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ थियरी रिव्यू एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड द एंगुलर वेलासिटी L is given by I cross omega. Moment of inertia is the name given to rotational inertia. Linear momentum P is equal to mass times velocity. There is another formula for angular momentum. L is equal to R cross P, where R is the distance from the point of reference to the point mass. This is the more important formula given in the NCERT book and more important for JEE. Also, if I substitute P is equal to m v, I'll get this expression m times r cross v. M is a scalar quantity, so it can stay outside, and we can take vector product of r vector and velocity vector, which further simplifies to m r v sine theta. Now, in this question, the angle given between x-axis and the r vector is 45 degrees. whenever there is an angular momentum question one of the things to note is that if we take this equation mrv sin theta we get m capital r is the r vector in this question so i am taking capital r v times sin theta so sin theta if this is this this angle is theta 45 degrees sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse so let opposite side be ab so sin theta is equal to ab upon hypotenuse so hypotenuse is capital r in this question ab upon r and if i substitute sin theta is equal to ab upon r in this equation the r and r will cancel out and we will be left with ab which is the vertical distance so that's all we will be concerned about when solving such questions such questions so um in this question it's given that theta is equal to 45 degrees so sin theta is equal to ab upon r is equal to 1 upon root 2 since sin of 45 is 1 upon root 2 so the vertical distance will be a ab ab is equal to r upon root 2 if we substitute this value r upon root 2 in this equation we get mv into r upon root 2 so this will be the angular momentum and then we also need to write a unit vector which will be k and the way we get this unit vector k is by applying the right hand rule for angular momentum k is the unit vector in the direction of z axis so the rule for uh, the right hand rule for angular momentum says that if you curl your fingers if you look at this figure if you curl your fingers in the direction of motion of particle then the thumb will give you the direction of angular momentum so in this question if you look at this diagram the motion of particle is in the anti clockwise direction in the xy plane so if you put your hand on the paper or, or on the table and curl your fingers in the direction given then your thumb will point straight up out of the table so uh, it will point straight outside which is given by a dot uh, if you if, if you think of it as an arrow coming out of the table all you will see is a dot of an arrow so that's why it's given a dot as a dot and if it were to go into the table it would the symbol is x as if you are looking at the back of an arrow so um that's why uh, we know that the direction of angular momentum is pointing out of the table and it's in the direction of z axis because z axis is perpendicular to both x and y and it's it points out of the table so that's why we get this this k vector right here mv r upon root 2 upon k let's see if this is any of the options so if you look at the option number 4 l is equal to mv upon root 2 multiplied by r times k which is exactly what we got when the particle is moving from d to a 
so the particle is moving from D to A so if you see they have taken point A at, as the point from which they want to uh, they want to take the distance from the origin to the particle so um, we'll move in a similar fashion for the rest of of the options so this this option is right but we are looking for the false options so the question asks you to give the false options so let's look at option number three option number three is similar mass times velocity just as in option number four and then they have something else r upon root 2 plus a times the unit vector k so the motion of particle is from b to c b to c at point c at point a the vertical distances we just found out r upon root 2 so what's what's the vertical distance still here this this uh, this portion is same as a it's given so this point will be r upon root 2 plus a it's quite easy to figure out so at point c the vertical distance this distance is r upon root 2 plus a so uh, if you substitute this uh, uh, this r in the equation that we've been uh, using you will get m b r upon root 2 plus a times k so this option also seems to be right we just substituted instead of a b in the previous option we substituted uh, substituted r upon root 2 this time we have substituted r upon root 2 plus a in this equation and we got the third option let's look at the second option when the particle is moving from c to d now this is the point c particle moves to d so the r vector will be this line so something like this and the option that they have is mass times velocity and then they have used the vertical distance as r upon root 2 minus a now this vertical distance we know is r upon root 2 plus a r upon root 2 minus a would be somewhere near the origin which can never be the case because the point d is farther farther than r upon root 2 minus a so this option is definitely not correct this is the false option and option number one as soon as you see that when the particle is moving from a to b a to b and the value is negative mv upon root 2 r times k now the this option is also false because the direction can never be negative for angular momentum in this question because the particle keeps moving in an anti-clockwise manner no matter which two points you take so if the if the motion is always anti-clockwise the direction of angular momentum will always point upwards of the table in the positive direction so it, so it can never be negative so therefore this option is also incorrect and they have asked which of the following statements is false for the angular momentum l you need to check these two options which are your answers if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel